Hey guys, today I wanted to do just a really, really quick video. Um, I, I keep seeing new players and they're like, how do I improve in this game? There's so many different things, there's so many guides out there. And I think while you should be looking for all the guides, you should be watching streamers, you should be doing everything, um, there's, there's one particular thing that I find, and I used to teach people how to do public speaking. And when I would teach people how to do public speaking, something always came up. And what always came up is that we would evaluate what they were speaking and we would give new speakers like a thousand things to work on. And then they would end up just essentially getting worse because they, they would have so many things they would try to focus on the next time that they spoke that they wouldn't end up focusing on anything. So what we started doing is whenever we got a new speaker, we would say, hey, you know what? All you need to work on today is eye contact and then after they get their eye contact well we would say okay now that you're done with eye contact let's work on a little bit of vocal variety we want some dynamism right we want the them to feel like it's not just listening to a boring presentation of them just talking the same way over and over and over so we would say work on dynamism work on vocal variety and then they would do a couple speeches working on vocal variety. And then they would be able to understand that it's easier when we go, now you should work on blocking, which blocking is a, a term for making sure that people are not just standing there the whole time. If you ever watch like, um, what's his name? Um, Steve Jobs. Uh, he used to do these presentations where he would walk around the stage and he would own the stage. He was very entertaining to watch compared to someone that's a professor who's just sitting there standing in the same place going over their entire presentation. That's boring. So when, when I used to teach public speaking, uh, I would go through a variety of diff different things, but I would have them focus on one thing at a time. And this is how I want to show people how I improve in video games so fast. In um, League of Legends, I shot up very quickly. It was the first mobile I'd ever played, and I moved up to Platinum very quickly. Uh, in Hearthstone, I got Legend very quickly. In every game I play, I'm not going to say that I'm a genius or that I'm great at it, but what I do know is how to learn new subjects and how to learn these new um, just just games very quickly by focusing on one thing at a time. And I have a specific profile pulled up, and this is a player named Beg for Mercy. Uh, I know he wouldn't mind me using him in, as an example in this. Um, Beg for Mercy is known for playing a lot of Lunara. And, I mean, a lot of Lunara. He's a level 340 Lunara. Well, the thing about Beg for Mercy is, if you, like, he, he's very good at the game, no matter what hero he ends up playing. Um, but the reason that he got so good at the game was because he learned everything that he had to learn on a single character, and there was nothing left to learn on that character. Which means that he could spend the rest of every single game that he played learning game mechanics. So, if you're not... Let's say, for example, you were always switching characters and you die and you don't know, was it something that I did wrong on the character? Was it positioning that I had poorly? Was it the team's fault? You don't know. You just die. So you blame it on the team, even though it could have been something that you could have done differently on a character. Well, when you know everything that there is to know about a character because you've played 1,946 games, it means that if you die, you know it's not your abilities on the character it's got to be either game sense like map positioning it's got to be um the team it's got to be something else so you're only learning one aspect of the game at a time so for new players and i know some people may disagree with me on this but for new players the first thing that i recommend is picking a couple heroes like one or two heroes specifically one in each role and playing only those and i recommend finding um, popular heroes that, that are commonly played that can fit multiple roles. Don't like go out and pick a Tyrande who isn't filled in a lot of different places. Pick someone like an ETC who can be filled in, in a lot of different areas, a lot of different maps, things like that. And then you play that hero until you feel like you know everything there is to know about that hero. That way all that you're learning, every death, every loss, every loss of an objective, you know is purely on your game sense and not your hero ability. So pick apart the game into smaller pieces and practice those smaller pieces. I have a friend. His name's Spencer. He does. Um, he's a violist, right? He, he plays the viola, and he's extremely good. And he has a saying that he likes to to, to say. And he says, "Uh, practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect." 
and I don't know where he got it from. It's probably out there somewhere. Someone else has probably said it, but I've always liked that practice or that that saying because it makes sense. If you just play Genji all the time and you're getting a 45% win rate or a 47% win rate, you're always going to be getting that if you're not constantly looking for something to improve on. If you just play a hero just to play a hero and not to learn, you're never going to improve. So when you're practicing with a hero, practice a specific thing on that hero until you've mastered it. Then move on to something else. Uh, in my match history, I wanted to share something. I wanted to learn how to do Junkrat's W. So I played games on, or sorry, yeah, I played games on Junkrat just practicing his W alone until I felt like I was good with his W. So you want to be doing the same thing. You want to be picking out certain people and focusing on very specific things. And you'll move up very quickly on that. Um, so that is th those are really the main things that I wanted to explain. I don't want this video to get too long. Uh, I could go into all the other things you should focus on and all the videos you should recommend, but essentially the, the goal that I want to explain is pick one thing, one small detail of the game and good at, get good at that one thing and then move on to another thing and then another thing. And then after a couple weeks, every week you've learned two to three new things. By the end of a month or so, you're going to be good at the basics of the game. And then a couple months later, you're going to be good at some of the intermediate things. And then before you know it, you're going to be playing at master's level because you're good at just about everything in the game. And the few little small things that you need to practice are going to be easy to pick up on what you need to do. For example, if I'm sitting there always wondering, oh, I need to work on the draft. Well, if I've learned every other aspect of the game, it's going to be a lot easier to learn the draft because not only can I focus on the draft, but I can also see, oh, well, I know that this hero is good at this map because I've already played this hero on that map and I see their potential. So it's a lot easier to practice the draft. So it allows you to maximize the this like the big things that matter first and then you the small things you'll just learn on your own after you've maximized all the big things. So if you guys have any other tips of things to focus on, of course, I would recommend watching streamers. I would recommend... Um, still watching videos, informational videos, hint, hint, the subscribe button below. Um, but there's a variety of other ways you could learn. I just really recommend focusing on one little thing at a time. Again, I, I was teaching people public speaking for a while, and that was the biggest problem we had, is everyone would always just give a million different things of advice at once, and the speaker would end up being worse the next game than they were before. Um, but yeah, if you have any other tips for new players, feel free to throw it below. Thank you.